Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go live on Sky, so we're about 10, 15 seconds away, and it's straight into questions. For you, is this win up there with the, the victory in Marseille last year? It's why we recognise that the Springboks are a very strong side, uh, who are world champions, tri nation champions, and, and for our, for our, from our point of view, the best number one side in the world. You know, I think it's a special day for this team, and, and a special day for all black rugby. The line out was excellent, put a lot of pressure on their, their line out and the scrum was sound and the dis defence was superb. So, a special day and every guy played well. I think the, the key thing about what was behind this performance was through Zip last year, I think. You know, a lot of people have been waiting to play this test match. I guess it's one of those things that just sort of sits there that, uh, you know, we've, as Ted said, we've, you know, we've played nine tests since then and, and had nine wins, but wanted to come up and see really where we were at and a guy like Brad Thorne and myself and a few have been, uh, it's been in the back of the mind for a while so it was finally good to get a, get a go at it. And yeah, we've got to do it again next week and uh, that's the exciting thing. They're called test matches because they are a test of your character uh, along with other things but for us you know, we should enjoy it tonight because it was a great all black performance and then get back to work tomorrow. You, you spoke when you selected the team that you thought experience was crucial and, and, and some of your, your more experienced players deserved a chance, did you think they took that chance? The, the skipper sets the standard and he played exceptionally well again and I guess he's in the old guard. And, and Daniel, um, you know, he just ran the ship superbly. So the experienced players really set the foundation, but the other guys joined in and helped them immensely. I thought Kevin played exceptionally well, I think he's getting better with age. Woody had one of his best test matches for a long time. Brad Thorne was, I don't know, he just gets better with age. Not a good wine, isn't he? Um, but he, he was superb, I thought. I think Millsy was having um, doubts when he's got all those injuries during the Super 15 and he's worried about his future. I haven't seen him play better um, the All Blacks and so he's feeling very proud tonight and very relieved, I think. But he still got it. Everybody else believed in him, and um, but he was outstanding. I think that's the, the benchmark now, and there's no excuses to go back from that. So, um, you know, if we're going to be successful over this Tri Nations, we're going to have to play like that every week because um, it shows what you can do if you give the backs some good ball and put them under pressure. We operated off off a really good platform, and they didn't. And, and you know, if you're looking at last year, um, that was a massive, massive change. I've been pretty impressed this year with the, the level of support of it. Compared to other years, it really feels like uh, the public and that are really behind the team and you know, that they hang around after the game because um, you know, obviously uh, they want to show their support. So it's a little thing to go and sign a few autographs and say good day. You know, it's the least you can do because over the next five months, 15 months, that's going to be pretty critical to have uh, everyone behind us because it really means a hell of a lot to the team. So. Um, you know, it's little things like that. It's the least we can do to say thanks. They were pretty stoked, so uh, it was nice, to, nice to have uh, been able to do that. Graham, you, you sort of embraced Steve at the end of the game on the TV coverage, and <coughs> well, you grabbed him on the shoulders. What did you say to him? Right. Was it was it a relief more than anything after what happened last year, especially with Steve being under pressure last year? No, I just wanted to let him know that I thought it was an outstanding forward performance. I gave him a cuddle. <laughs> he didn't reciprocate, which was a bit of a worry. He had that upside down smile thing going on. So. <laughs> <laughs> you never went out. Where's the last say? <laughs>